What is up everybody? Today we are continuing with the planning for my desk setup. I am indeed putting a lot of effort into this. Now today we are doing more of a testing stage than anything else. I just want to test something out to confirm that everything is going to work the way I want it to. Um, so it's quite an exciting little test and it's definitely a step in the right direction. Now you guys will be pleased to hear that I have indeed earned quite a bit of money and I am now only about 25 pounds off of my actual goal. Plus I've been adding to my basket, plus I've received a little bit of help from viewers. So, all in all, things are looking brilliant and I hope to start ordering components for my desk within the next two or three days after I bank some cash and just get my hands on a little bit more uh, funds. So by late next week, you guys will probably start seeing me rip apart my desk setup. I really, really hope. Anyway, before we get on to any more talking, I'm going to roll the intro and then we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and test out something awesome. So as you guys may or may not know, I'm currently using an NVIDIA G4640 graphics card in my Mac Pro. It's a PC graphics card, hasn't been flashed, so I do not get the boot up screen or anything like that. It's just straight out of a PC and straight into my Mac Pro. It was very kindly donated by Todd quite a while ago now, and I upgraded it pretty, yeah, decently a while ago, I think. Maybe a year and a half ago, something like that. Um, that's ringing a bell. But anyway, it replaced my horrible Radeon X1900 XT, and I haven't looked back since. The GT640 has been absolutely flawless. I really, really like it. So my plan is to add another one in the future uh, in order to support multiple displays. But at the moment, I can't afford it. Even though they're very cheap cards and you can get them on eBay for about £30, I just can't stretch to it. Money is so tight at the moment. So, what I want to do is test to make sure that this GT40 will actually support three monitors. Because if you haven't guessed by now, I will be using three monitors on my new setup. Now, unfortunately, one of the monitors will have to be used uh, with VGA for now, because this graphics card has a single DVI, a single HDMI, and a single VGA output. So, unfortunately, it's not the model with two DVI outputs or two HDMI outputs or anything like that. But still... Um, It'll be okay, I hope. I'm going to test it out in this video just to see that the VGA port is supported under OS X because you never know. And if it isn't, I, I need to rethink my plan and somehow get my hands on another graphics card. But a lot of people had a go at me saying that the GT640 is a weak card, blah, blah, blah. Um, it, I'm finding it absolutely magnificent. I'm really enjoying using it. And you know what? It's one hell of a lot quieter than my X1900. It's so smooth and I haven't had any issues with it. I love it, I love it to pieces. And of course, I have an SSD in this Mac, so I really don't miss the boot up screen either. Anyway, before I go ahead and buy a new monitor, I won't be using my new monitor via VGA, by the way, guys. I'll put one of these uh, as a secondary display on VGA. Before I buy it, I want to make sure that I can support it. So, I have brought down my old faithful 17-inch Hans G monitor from the studio. Um, I did use this in the studio for a very long time, but then I replaced it with a Dell U2412M, and I haven't actually looked back. Um, again, that is a brilliant monitor, but I'm just going to use this for testing purposes. We're literally going to stick this on my desk, plug it in, and see if this graphics card will support three monitors. So there it is. It looks a little out of place, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it plugged in or not, really. It's quite cool. Um, the quality is very low on this display, if I remember correctly, and I have dug out a very thin VGA lead to use with it, so it probably won't be the best quality. But I've got a VGA lead there that's ready to go, and also a power cable. So what I'm going to do is hook it all up now. Now, a viewer pointed out to me that um, on the box for my GT640, they saw the box in my upgrade, it said that it supported triple monitors, which is really cool. However, um, the triple monitor setup that I hope to be using um, next week or the week after, because I'll be ordering another monitor, um, is going to require a lot of... Um, resolution because this is a much lower resolution monitor and the new monitor is has a higher resolution than these monitors also so it's going to be pushing a lot more pixels therefore i think i might get slow down using all three on that one gt640 card so eventually i would like to put the main center monitor on its own dedicated card and use the second card for uh the other two monitors but still 
I've got to uh, I've got to think of the funds and work with what I've got. And at the moment, we're just here to test. So let me plug this in. Check this out, guys. I love it when stuff like this happens. For best results, use 1024 by 768. I mean, who would use any less than that in this day and age? And that's, of course, mirrored. And it's mirrored on here in yellow, so it's looking fantastic. So yeah, it seems to be powering the three displays. Um, I've turned off my video light so you guys can see the displays uh, more clear. What I'll do is I'll mount you on the tripod, um, giving a broad view of the desk, I'll go into system prefs, and I will configure the displays, or attempt to configure the displays. Definitely quite interesting, guys. Now, I know I'm probably blocking the new display, but still. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, let's quit iTunes for now. I've never seen Abba Gold that big. Okay, um, let's have a little look. Uh, arrangement, I guess. I don't want to mirror the displays. Let's uncheck that. And fantastic, they are now all of their own displays and they've got all their own preferences. Now for some reason it's made the small display the um, master display. So, oh gosh. Let's move that menu bar over there. And then let's, arrangement wise, move this little small screen. Uh, check out how messed up it is. This little small screen over there. And of course, hmm, let me think about this. This needs to go there. And let's have a look. That needs to be lined up level. And I believe I have my main screen set to this one. I believe, not 100% sure, but it makes no difference anyway. Okay, so that's cool. Now all we've got to do is try and figure out Ah, here's the uh, other resolutions. So I believe this display supports 1280 by 960. Let's see if it does. Yes, it does, that's fantastic. Okay, cool. But I don't know if that's a, a stretch resolution. I believe that res is a little stretched on there. Yes, it looks a little stretched. Okay, so we'll leave it at that for a second. Now, color-wise, we are indeed pretty messed up. VGA display, that could be the cable. Um, let's give it a wiggle on that end and a wiggle on this end. No, we've got... <laughs> it's probably the monitor settings, so let's have a little look here. How do you get to the... Oh, God. Here we go, guys. So, as we can tell here, guys, all three monitors are working. I'm really pleased with this and it seems to be powering them absolutely fine. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure if it's going to be any different uh, connecting any other monitor. But this comes with all of the usual VGA traits that annoy me. Uh, and that is the, depending on the monitor and the graphics card, if you're using them in conjunction with the digital displays, sometimes you can't select the appropriate resolution. I can't, I, I can't select the native resolution for this monitor. Uh, so that gets a bit annoying. I believe there's a way that you can enter custom resolutions somehow. I think there's an app for that or maybe even a trick. But um, I'm not going to look into that too deeply in this video. Um, as you can see, it's all fired up there. Now the annoying thing is, this Mac seems to be prioritising uh, this monitor as the secondary display. Because as you can see, there's my Final Cut viewer output. I used to use timeline and events and everything there, and then viewer there. Now I tried to drag the viewer to this monitor, because I didn't want to use Final Cut on this one of course. But... Um, the damn thing doesn't drag. Once you say, you know, put it on the second display, that's it. You cannot move it. Even if you go into mission control, it just disappears. You can't move it to a different display. You can't drag it over. Um, so that gets pretty annoying. Um, and also, because all of these are, um, not none of them are HDMI outputs, then you can't use the AV output on Final Cut. Final Cut 10 has really bad window management in comparison to uh, regular Final Cut, like Final Cut Pro 7. But anyway, that you know that doesn't bother me too much. I'm going to disconnect this display after this video. I just wanted to see if it would fire up. Now, of course, this has shown me that yes, I will be able to use all three displays with this graphics card. But if I do get resolution issues and issues like that, you know, where I don't have window flexibility because this this is demanded as display two for some reason, then um, yeah, I I'm gonna have to get another graphics card. But that's just a little experiment for today, guys. I need to unplug it now, it's actually doing my head in. Um, but anyway, yeah.
awesome. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I uh, Next video, tomorrow's video, Friday's video is going to be extremely exciting because we're hitting a, a, a rather huge milestone on the channel. So it won't really be tech-related, but it will indeed be an awesome video. And like I said, I've earned quite a lot of money, so next week we should start to see desk setup-related stuff. I cannot wait. Really, really excited for that. As always, everyone, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like triple display action, but of course this display, poor guy, is a little bit crap. And of course, you know, it's not its fault because it's pretty old by now, but whatever. Anyway, before I ramble on any longer, please head down into the video description. Check out all of those cool links down there, including eBay, Facebook, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Hope you guys have a really good day. It's ne nearly the end of the week. You guys can get through it, whether in school, college, work, whatever. I promise it's nearly the weekend. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in tomorrow's rather exciting milestone-related video.